What is up there beautiful people and welcome to another edition of Just Trending News. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell so you're always notified when I upload new videos. So today we're speaking about none other than Cyan Bougie. If you don't know who she is, uh, she's basically an influencer, TikToker, Instagrammer. She's also a professional DJ and a content creator, I guess. Uh, she's got various um, you know, sites where she creates her content on and a lot of people like her. If you do know Cyan Bougie, you'll know that she's She's always trending um, and usually when she trends it's always related to either some man ex-boyfriend current boyfriend club promoters or even her friends you all know that whenever cyan bougie trends or most of the time uh, it's she's always trending because of something negative well today she's trending because a friend of hers or an ex-friend of hers by the name of malundi malindi underscore 012 underscore on instagram decided to go on a rant and expose some of her alleged secrets okay so i just want to put out a disclaimer before i read these stories Stories. Um, I am a closer person, so I don't really know how to pronounce some of these things. I think they're Sutu or Zwana. Please do forgive me if I mispronounce something, okay? So the first one says, well, you guys, the reason why I stopped being friends with Cyan is because I hugged and greeted Masterpiece at Ayoba. I get Masterpiece, GX. I'll greet Masterpiece whenever and wherever because I knew him before you and he did absolutely nothing wrong to me. So why not hug and greet him like I used to when y'all were cool? Problem with Cyan is she wants us to fight with everyone she's fighting with. But I like what you did there. Super creative, okay? The next one she says is, firstly, let's talk about Bamsi, should we? Uh, let's talk about how you bought uh, white and black candles and Impepo saying for pray every night with Impepo and candles so that Bamsi will do everything you tell him to do. Sorry about this, guys. There are a lot of spelling errors here. Saying you saw this on the internet. I thought you don't believe in, in Impepo more. So why did you send your then manager to Marabastat to get Impepo and those other herbs did did your prayer work okay another one that she said is let's talk about my ex-boyfriend that you were so obsessed with yeah the guy you slept with and then he took you to zanzu and left you with a 20k bill because yeah the guy you took his bmw keys imagine you guys that guy was my boyfriend and sign couldn't keep up with that uh, she saw how good he treated me okay so let's head on over and go to the next one it says let's talk about or should we talk talk about how you got fucked at the village pub got toilet nocha by one of the mamelodi promoters okay she then further goes on to say ubizi si tole mother of three in don don ganti ain't you a mother of three or four choza and honestly guys just a side note my mouth literally dropped to the floor when i saw this because i'm assuming that she's alluding to the fact that usain has had multiple abortions right so if someone is alleging that you're a mother of three or four then basically you know they're alleging that you've had multiple abortions if those children aren't on planet earth either that or that the children somehow passed on i don't know she then further goes on to say sign is a broken and toxic girl who needs to heal she does not know she does not know how to be a good friend recently she spoke about how she was rejected by a group of girls she tried to befriend back in high school Cyan is a is broken shame. She needs serious help, this girl. She's breaking all her friendships because her former trauma is her reference point for friendship. She's a she's dangerous as a friend, this rugby player. She then goes on to say, Yeah, let's talk about Kayamo's birthday celebration last year at Obits. Let's talk about how you effed the driver at your apartment toilet. Sis man. That guy was shocked and kept on asking us, Uguti uya pila yini ekanza. Okay. Uh she further goes on to say officially bus stop i believe i've decided to mention all the guys you've slept with okay mara did relationships sahafia south africa diga fela shem gawain she further says or should i tell them that you lied to bamzi saying you're pregnant with his child knowing very well Khuri, the person who impregnated you get a well-known artist you lucky i have respect for him so i'm not going to say his name and again i do not sleep with rich men to validate my existence sign you're nothing but a walking s TD. I hope you now smile good down there. Untibele Pila, I have self respect. She further says, Cyan really needs mental institution because sleeping with old men is killing her mentally. Okay, um, there's another one that she says over here. She says, at Casper in your vest, you can arrange a fight for me and Cyan. I'm, reg I'm ready. You don't know your worth. She further says, let's talk about how you're so obsessed with Pabi Cooper. Yeah, let's talk about how you made us unfollow Pabi because she didn't book you on her first FC Cooper in Dondoni and she booked Kayamo as an MC. 
You were so mad. Remember that day how you blocked her on WhatsApp and unfollowed her because she was doing better than you. Tell them how you want friends with no money so you can control and bully around, okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is honestly super, super crazy. Uh, I think that this is actually a developing story because someone is saying that Sign is replying to her followers on her IG live after being asked about uh, the whole Malindi situation. And honestly, I saw this on Instagram on the Buzzy Bee blog. Wow, guys. Guys, I must say, um, I'm absolutely shocked. Eh? I'm absolutely shocked because this Malindi chick or person, excuse me if I'm being disrespectful, but she's just, you know, alleging a whole lot of things that are obviously very damaging to one's reputation. Um, this is not the first time that Cyan Bougie has been involved in some sort of Instagram or, you know, you know, Twitter or whatever war, right? She's always trending and she's always trending negatively. But what I've noticed about Cyan is that whenever her friends aren't speaking about her, they always want to go... Um, to these great lengths to do these exposés on Cyan, okay? And most of them allege that she's a bully and that she's not a good friend, right? Um, honestly speaking, I think that if a lot of people are saying the same thing or similar things about you, then um, there's basically some sort of basis for what these people are saying. Obviously, we don't know if any of these things are true or not. People do come on the internet and lie, but to speak about or to allege that Cyan Bougie is a mother of three or four is absolutely crazy to me because as I've previously stated in this video that would mean she's alleging to the fact that Sain Bougie has had either multiple abortions or that she's lost multiple children because the only uh, abortion that, you know, and I say this in air quotes, that we know about is the one that she spoke about uh, on podcast with Mac G and I also believe on the podcast with Gokos Korteni as well. Love those two podcasts, by the way. So she hasn't really spoken about any other children that she might have conceived or been busy with. And for her to even allege that Bamzi wasn't even the father of Sain Bougie's child, and we all know about the situation with you know i think it's bamzi and cyan bougie where there were, there were police involved the whole situation with the pregnancy uh cyan you know and aliving the child and all of those things it's it's honestly you know so crazy that all of these things are being alleged she also says that cyan bougie is a walking std guys that is super 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 crazy because honestly how would you know that you know and even if you do know that i think guys some things of should be off limits you know people's you know statuses hiv std whatever those should completely be um off limits i don't know what sign bougie might have done to provoke malindi um or if she even did do something to provoke Uma Lindy, but for Uma Lindy to speak about her being a walking std guys that is absolutely insane um she speaks about how cyan bougie has you know effed or you know i've already said fucked in this video has fucked many people or men in toilets uh, a melody sundowns promoter and all of these things it's honestly so crazy that all of these allegations are being leveled against her and it must be sad you know we know that cyan bougie is the clapback queen but honestly to have to clap back to different ex-friends every Every week almost every week it must honestly be emotionally tiring and you know it must be crazy you know she also said that she hopes our sign bougie smells good down there alluding to the fact that sign bougie doesn't really smell good down there that is honestly crazy stuff guys Guys, 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 if you don't already know, please, when you have a falling out with someone, I don't know what happened from Sign Bougie's side, but whenever you have a falling out with someone, try to refrain from using personal information against those people. Those things were possibly done or told to you in confidence or in secret. So whenever you do have a falling out with someone, please try to refrain from um, exposing that person's secrets. Um, because honestly, it's not a good look. It's not a good look to you as an ex-friend. It's honestly not a good look to the friend that you're speaking about or allegedly exposing guys so honestly i don't know what to say about the situation i think i'm really just shocked that um former friends would even go to these lengths and these extents honestly i don't think that malindi would have come out to say all of these things and to expose these things or allegedly things that sign bougie has been doing if she didn't have basis for doing that or if something didn't happen between her and sign bougie so i definitely think that there was something that was done or said to provoke the situation as i've said this is still a developing story so we're still going to get more information on this this is super sad guys whenever friends have falling out let's try to refrain from using each other's secrets as as a weapon or weaponizing each other's secrets it honestly isn't a good look it honestly isn't a good look and you know to sign bougie i think that there are a lot of people at this point that are coming out and saying you know 
a former friends you know i think sima did it a couple of weeks ago to say she's not a good friend this that and the third it's honestly not a good look for her but like she did say that the last time she got involved uh in a fight not a physical fight but you know in, in an exchange of words uh with a friend she grew on tiktok not on tiktok excuse me she grew basically her her social media following grew because what they say is that no publicity is bad publicity but when it comes to speaking about uh children you know whether those children have passed or are still alive and if it comes to STDs, that for me is just crossing the line. But I don't know. Tell me what you think about this in the comments section, my darlings. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. And I'll see you in my next upload.